Welcome to the Small Business Supercharge. I'm Cam Roberts. I'm going to take you through this training, which is the seven ways to supercharge your small business and make this year an absolute huge success for you, not only in your business, but also financially and also with your lifestyle as well, because we all know that business is not separate from you as a person. It's not separate from me. It's part of what you do. So it has a big impact. The success of your business has a big impact on both your lifestyle and your financial outcomes as well. So I want to help you make this year a huge success. Now I have one big promise for you on this training and the big promise is this. Look, you can put your wallet or your purse or your credit card, wherever you keep your coin, wherever you keep your credit card, just put it away, right? Sit on it, put it in your drawer, take a deep breath and just enjoy the training because there's absolutely nothing to buy on the training today. This is not disguised as some sort of sales pitch. It's not like when you go and do one of those um, you know, seminars and they, they hype you up with all the rah-rah, right? And then they pitch to you for 45 minutes. Look, it's nothing like that. We'll be done here in about 20, 30 minutes and a bit of Q&A as well. But there's nothing to buy on this training. So just relax, enjoy the training, take some notes, and I know you're going to get a lot out of it. So what gives me the right to teach you? Well, let me just share a little bit about me. If you've never come across my training before or if you're not real sure about me or it's the first time that you've you know, received an email from me or been on a webinar with me or heard me speak or, or coach, um, when industry leaders, owner-operated businesses and savvy entrepreneurs need help achieving their business and financial and lifestyle goals, they typically contact me. My clients have included Amazon multi-millionaires, seven-figure digital marketers, multi-million dollar speakers, property coaches, wealth creation experts, and many more. And you know what? The one thing that my clients love more than anything is my no BS approach to pulling back the curtain on business success and marketing. Now that allows them to achieve their goals faster than they previously thought possible. And I just have, you know, I just have a servant servant's heart. I just love serving people, right? So I don't beat around the bush. I'm a straight down the guy, straight down the line kind of guy. And that's one thing uh, my clients really love about me. Now, as a sports coach, funny enough, if you don't know of me or if you've never heard any of my podcasts, I often tell stories that relate to sport. And that, that is because back in 2000, I was a professional sports coach. Now, you might be watching this and thinking, well, that, what's that got to do with supercharging my business, Cameron? What's that got to do with you know helping me improve sales? What's that got to do with helping me get a positive ROI on marketing? Well, my friend, it has a lot to do with that because how you do one thing is how you do many things. And there was a lot of lessons that I learned from sport that I, I still carry through to my life today. Things about like you know taking action, being disciplined, um, being dedicated, being committed. All of those sorts of things that sports people do are a great lesson that we can learn from and apply to our business. Because here's what I know about business. Um, how you do business affects your life, right? Your business is going great, you're great with your life, great with your financial income, great with your lifestyle choices, business not going so well, you're under a lot of stress, you're under the pump, you get agitated. Like we've all been there, business can be a roller coaster sometimes. So just like sports can be a roller coaster, you can have huge wins and huge losses, right? So I take a lot of parallels from sport and that's why I share that with you. So back in 2000, I coached over 150 state medalists and 30 national medalists within a seven-year sports coaching career. Two of those athletes went on to win Olympic gold, one at Seoul and one at the Sydney Junior Olympics. And personally, I've competed in four Ironman triathlons, which included the World Championships in, in Hawaii. And I have a personal best time in the Ironman, which, it, by the way, if you've never heard of the Ironman triathlon, it's a 3.8-kilometer grueling swim with about 1,000 to 2,000 people around you all at the same time. And then you all get on a bike and you ride 180 kilometers on a bike and then you finish off with a grueling marathon at the end just to you know finish things off to make sure you're well and truly spent. So I have a personal best time of 9 hours 25, which is not too shabby, folks, even in today's term. That was done back in, I think, 2000 or 2001. So even in today's terms, 9 hours 25 is, is a pretty good time for a uh, competitive age group. Or I wasn't a pro by any means. But uh, as a competitive age group, but not too shabby at all. As a business owner, I've, I've had multiple award-winning business models. As a traditional bricks-and-mortar type business, I've won more awards at the time 
than any of my competitors combined at one time. I had three different business models with 1,500 regular weekly clients and over 35 staff to manage. And again, what I did was I took all of the lessons I learned from creating a successful sports team and helping athletes achieve their ultimate goals in sport. I took those lessons and I created a business around that. Um, and I created a business and business teams. So what I what I used in what I did in sport to create successful athletes, I used in the business world to create a successful business team. As a speaker, I've shared the stage with some of the world's best speakers, including Scott Horman, who was at the time Tony Robbins' leading business coach. I've also shared the stage with Pat Masidi, a prosperity speaker and wealth expert, Mal Emery, internet multimillionaire and best-selling author. Justin Herald, Justin Herald, Roy McDonald, Jamie Malcolm, Tim Costello, Bruce Sutherland, Amanda Gore, and many, many more. As a business consultant, I've worked with hundreds of different types of businesses, everything from financial planners to wealth creation experts to property experts to swim schools to e-commerce um, companies to even churches to software companies, um, you name it, I've probably worked with that type of business. As a marketing specialist, I believe it's important to lead from the front. I do have a team of marketing ninjas who help myself and my clients. These days, I primarily focus on business consulting and I strategically work with my clients. Um, but I am certified to work in the digital marketing space, which is important for you to know because when you're working with an expert, working with a coach or consultant, you do want to know that they understand what they're talking about. And more importantly, they are certified in what they are teaching you. I've been the expert behind the experts in uh, 2014, Justin Laguerre. He was a client of mine, and in 2014, Justin became the first person to sell a million dollars on Amazon in one day. He, soon after that, he became the only seller to do $10 million in a month and was named the number one fastest growing retailer in the world. I helped Justin and his team launch the Rank One Pro program. And it was a, a system, it was a training that he put together where he taught the exact systems and processes he used to routinely rank number one on Amazon and sell over $40 million a year in retail products to eager buyers. I've also been the expert behind the expert with Mal Emery, a good friend of mine also. He's an internet multi-millionaire, best-selling author, business coach, public speaker. And Mal's just a great guy and he teaches people how to be successful in business. I've also worked with Simon Reynolds and the Fortune Institute. The Institute They run a world-class business MBA program. And I've worked with people like Dave Bynan. Dave created the Lux Home Pro program. And that program or that system transforms luxury residential homes into six-figure profit centers using models like Airbnb. Um, and he helps people create six-figure incomes from that. I've also worked with Jerry Conti. Jerry's a beautiful guy, lovely heart, and he's one of America's leading strategic advisors and income acceleration experts. I've worked with Jerry on many projects um, for himself and also his clients. I've worked with people like Trent Jamelli. Trent is um, the CEO of his company, Jamelli Group, and he's Australia's leading property mentor on how to manufacture profits from small property projects. And I've worked with many more experts, online entrepreneurs, offline entrepreneurs, and owner-operated businesses. I've also got a top 60 worldwide podcast, over 155 episodes at time of webinar, and I've had a number one book go on Amazon in five days and got a whole heap of courses and content available. So that's enough about me. With all that said, let's get into, into the training and let's help you make this year an absolute success. The seven ways to small uh, the seven ways to supercharge your small business and make this year a success. Number one, recalibrating your revenue thermostat. Now you might be thinking, well, why is that important? Why don't why don't you just give me the the tools, the systems, the processes? Look, the thing is this. You know, you're, you've got a money thermostat, you've got a revenue thermostat, and in your mind, you know, if you're stuck on $1,000 a month, there's a reason for that. There are things that you're thinking about, you're focusing on, that's causing you to stick at $1,000 a month. If you're making $5,000 a month, there's a reason for that, right? You're stuck on $5,000 a month. If you're at, you know, $10,000 a month, $100,000 a month, it doesn't matter where your 
business is at, if you're stuck on that, there's a reason for that, and it's because of the way you're thinking and the way you're thinking about running your business. So what I want to help you do is reset and recalibrate uh, recalibrate that money thermostat, that revenue thermostat in your business. There's a, there's a simple seven-step process, and I want you just to write it down, go through this at a later date. But step number one, you need to understand that your revenue thermostat in your business is currently set by your past experiences and your own internal beliefs about business, right? You, if you think business is getting harder, guess what? It will get harder. If you think that business is getting easier, guess what? It'll get easier. If you think that leads are getting harder to acquire, guess what? Leads are going to get harder to acquire, right? So your thoughts become your own reality. So you have to be mindful of your thoughts, right? So your current revenue is set. So once you understand that your current revenue is set by your past experiences, you had an experience and you gave it a global belief, like you experienced something, uh, you know, maybe leads were hard, maybe something happened in your business, maybe something happened to your income, and then you attach that to a, you attach that thought, you attach that experience to a thought, right? And then you would just assume that. But assumptions are very dangerous, um, both in life and in business. So what you need to do is understand that where you are now is because of your past experience and the internal belief that you attached to those experiences. Now, once you understand that, you can move to the next step. And the step two is to acknowledge that these things are limiting beliefs or lies about your future that you keep telling yourself, right? And you need to change that. But first of all, acknowledge that they're limiting beliefs. They're holding you back. They're holding your income back. They're holding your lifestyle back. They're holding your financial future back. And these lies you just keep telling yourself, they're just holding you back. You need to just throw them out. So step three, you adopt some new empowering beliefs. So you write them down. So when I work with my clients, we go into this a lot deeper, but we don't have a lot of time in this webinar. I'm trying to keep it super short uh, so you can get the most impact. But when I work with clients on this, I really dig deep. We really go deep and we write everything down and we you know, teach people how to shift their mind and make that shift in their mind. Step four, you then need to condition your mind for success by reading these new empowering beliefs with certainty over and over again. Now, you want to read them out loud. You want to read with passion. You want to engage your body. You want to get moving. Now, how I do this, I go and run down the beach and I find where no one is so I don't look like an absolute crazy person, right? And then I read them out loud and I engage my body and I transform the words into feelings because I, of the way I say them, the way I use my body. So that's what you want to do. You want to engage your whole being, engage your whole body, and read them out with passion and enthusiasm so that you condition not just your mind, but they are part of your being, they're part of your body. Step five, set new financial and lifestyle goals. So now you've adopted these new beliefs. The beliefs themselves aren't going to make stuff happen, aren't going to make changes, right? So then you need to create a plan, right? So you need to create some goals. So you create some new financial and lifestyle goals that are aligned with your new revenue thermostat. They're aligned with your new global beliefs about money, about revenue, about what you can achieve, right? So the goals are aligned with your new empowering beliefs. Step six, then set realistic, what I call mini milestones, like mini steps, right? So the problem is people might be making $1,000 a month now and then they kind of want to get to like $100,000 a month, right? And that's a big jump. Like that's a bridge too far. So what you need to, go, need to do if you're making $1,000 a month, make a mini milestone. Say to yourself, look, in three months, I'm going to make $3,000 a month, right? So if you're making $10,000 a month at the moment, in three months, say, right, I'm going to make... $15,000 a month. If you're making 20 k a month at the moment, set a goal in three months to make 35 k a month. If you're making 50, make it 20, uh, 80. If you're making $1.5 million a year, make it $2 million a year. If you're making $3 million a year, make it $3.75 million a year. You see, make mini milestones that you can achieve each month and, and make a big impact on your business You know, annually. And then step seven, take massive action. You know, what's your, what's your massive action that you're going to take after you change your beliefs, you set some new goals, you, you set the mini milestones? What are you going to do next? You want to take massive action so you get results quickly. Okay, so let's move on to way number two, and that is to make sure that the most profitable products and services to sell 
in 2020? What are they? What do they look like? Well, let's have a look. Um, according to research in the USA alone, baby boomers spend a total of 548 billion, that's a billion with a burr, right? 548 billion dollars annually. Now, does that mean you shouldn't you should only try to sell the baby boomers? Look, Absolutely not. Generation X and millennials also also um, spend $375 billion annually and $322 billion respectively for each of those two generations. However, you need to understand that how you if you've got a product that all of those demographics can buy, even um, the way you use your messaging and the way you use your marketing should change because how you speak to a baby boomer, the reason a a 65 year old buys a product right is different to the reason a 36 year old buys a product is different to a, a reason a 25 year old buys a product you see so you need to identify who what demographic are you selling to first and then dig deeper from there so let's look at some of the products and services that you could sell or, or could be in you know, I always look for um, clients that are in the real estate and automotive industries. You know, those things aren't going away. People always need car to, uh, car to drive and they'll always need somewhere to live, right? So, you know, when a client comes to me and they're in real estate, they're in property, you know, I know that's an evergreen product. You know, it's a, it's a product that people will always need. You know, if they offer a service, some sort of consulting service around real estate, um, that's going to be something that they can always use. If they're in the automotive game, you know, and, and you know, maybe they do tires, maybe they do um, motors, maybe they, you know, fix cars and recondition cars, whatever it is, right? Again, people will always need a car to drive. I don't see flying cars being invented anytime soon in my lifestyle. So, you know, they're evergreen essentials. And then you've got the beauty industry, valued at $532 billion a year. Uh, it's on the rapid up, upward trajectory. Uh, they're looking at sustainable products becoming a trend and social media influencers, uh, you know, people getting on influencer sites and, you know, sharing uh, beauty and cosmetic tips on YouTube and Instagram and things like that uh, is making the beauty, beauty industry uh, boom. Then you've got things like trending family services like preschools, you know, we've got busy families these days looking for preschools, looking for daycare centers so they can go, you know, have a double income and, uh, and mum and dad need to work and all that sort of stuff. Swim schools as well. There's always been a great model. I used to run a swim school. I've worked with many swim school owners and that's a great model as well. The gaming industry. Now I'm not talking about gambling or anything like that. I'm talking about electronic gaming, you know, like the Xbox and, uh, and things like that. So there are now more than 2.8 billion gamers across the globe. If you can get involved with anything to do with gaming, uh, that's going to be a great product and, uh, and a solid product. Uh, they spend $152.1 billion on games annually. And then you've got your what I call the prime location local. So you've got things like cleaning services, hairstylists, catering services, real estate agency, dental practices, social media services, and things like that. Um, they're, they're a great local business to be in. Uh, but you do have, you know, all, it is all about position, 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 or location, location, location. You know, you can be a hairstylist, you know, shoved four streets back off the main road. You're not going to get as much foot traffic as being in a high traffic area. And then you've got the wellness and health industry, which is now a $4.2 trillion industry. And that includes personal training, massage, chiropractic, uh, practices, physiotherapy practices, weight loss, supplements, fitness, anti-aging, and traditional and complementary medicine. So there's some of the, um, you know, what I would consider solid products and services to sell in the 2020s. So way number three to supercharge your business, how to build a magnetic brand that attracts clients and customers who are a pleasure to work with, because that's what we really want. We want to work with people who are a pleasure. So the way to do that is just to not look at your customers as um, leads. What I find is a lot of um, companies and business owners that reach out to me initially for strategic consulting and want help to scale their business, improve their workflows and, you know, and, and achieve their financial and income goals, they really get stuck at the very top of what this is. And this is a funnel framework. I call it my fast profit funnel framework. And to build a magnetic brand, you've got to move from just attracting traffic. You've got to stop focusing on just 
attracting more traffic and just converting more leads. In fact, you know, a lot of businesses would do better by building more revenue by nurturing leads, closing sales, and then reselling and retaining existing clients, customers, and raving fans. So, you know, these are the five parts of building your brand. So you've got attract the traffic, you know, that builds your brand at the very top level. And you build your brand by having free checklists, free swipe files, free guides, e-guides, free downloads, um, inbound marketing pillar posts like blog articles, topic clusters, LinkedIn articles, videos, podcasts, and the list goes on, right? You get the idea. That's all top of funnel brand building. Then step two, the next part you need to focus on when you want to build a magnetic brand is to build trust. So when um, someone's consumed your content with your content marketing on step one, build brand, attract traffic, then you've got to build trust. So how do you build trust? Well, what I'm doing now with this webinar training, I'm building trust with you, right? I'm giving you some content. We're building a relationship. You're getting to know me a little bit more. And so that builds trust. It allows you to take the next step. You can also do that with seminars, with workshops, with product demonstrations, with what we call shock and awe. Now, shock and awe is just a sales tool that helps educate a potential client or customer. You've got product brochures, spec sheets, case studies, testimonies, all of those sorts of things you should be including in your business mix to help you convert leads and build trust. Then you need to nurture the leads. And this is the middle of the funnel. So how do you nurture a lead? Well, you need to build relationships. So after you've built the brand, you've built trust. Step three, you build relationships. So you build relationships with free strategy sessions, free planning sessions, free discovery calls, um, some sort of low cost, low price mini course, low cost, low price mini workshops, free trial period, proposals and quotes, right? So you want to build those relationships and nurture those leads. Then step four, you want to build the revenue. So how do you process payments? How do you onboard new clients? Um, When a client comes on or a customer comes on for the first time, what's your process for that sign up? How do you communicate to them? Do you have a funnel? Do you have a campaign that uh, you know, speaks to them, that adds extra touch points, that allows you to communicate to them differently and better than your competition has. And then once they become clients and they've stayed for a while, how do you how do you resell and retain them and turn them into raving fans? How do you build fans? So you build fans by getting people to build, uh, by getting them to do product reviews, Google reviews, Facebook reviews, post sales surveys, referral programs, affiliate programs, and client only special offers and other programs and services that are specific to those people that have already bought from you. So way number four to supercharge your business um, this coming year and be an absolute success is the message to market formula for filling your sales funnel. Now, the message to market formula is this. You need to have a market message and media match. Now, if one of these is out of alignment, then conversions will drop and revenues will slump. So the market is, who are they? Who is your ideal client? What is their buyer persona? You know, and you when you create a buyer persona, you make make them up, right? You you create a fictionless, fictionless character, and it it could be uh, Mike the um, uh, mechanic, right? If you want mechanics, or it could be Larry the law firm operator, or it could be. Uh, Larry the lawyer, right? Or it could be Dave the dentist, right? So if I was um, wanting to target financial planners, it could be Fred the financial planner. You see, I would create a persona called Fred the financial planner or Simon the swim school owner, you see? So you create a buyer persona and the market is who they are. And when you design their buyer persona, you want to understand, you know, um, everything about them, you know, like where do they shop? Who already has them as a competitor? Uh, and not just what products you want to sell, but you know, think about them and their lifestyle. Where do they travel? Where do they live? Um, what else do they spend their money on? You know, all those sorts of things. You've got to dig really deep into understanding their particular buyer persona. Now, once you understand the market, and that is who you're selling to, then you want to go into the message and create the message. Now, how you get the message is based on what their problems are. So, what I tell my clients to do, and we do this strategically in workshops with my clients, is we create a whiteboard of this and we list all the problems that the buyer personas face. So all the problems your ideal customers face and the problems as it relates to them in the real world. So what are their fears? 
What are their frustrations? What are their wants, desires, and needs? What keeps them up at night? What peeves them off? What are they angry about? What are they frustrated about, right? You want to dig, the, you want to dig down nice and deep and really understand um, your buyer persona and what their problems are. Because once you've identified who they are and once you've identified what their problems are, you can then begin to create a crafted message that speaks specifically to them. Now, once you've covered those two steps, the market and the message, then last and least, you can go to the media. And the media is, where do they hang out? Are they going on Google and doing a Google search? Are they watching YouTube videos on mass? Are they watching Facebook videos? Are they on Facebook? Are they on LinkedIn? Are they not on it, uh, online at all? Are they offline? Are they at trade shows? Are they at expos, right? So the media is the least and last thing that you should think about. But the problem is this, many owner operated businesses, many entrepreneurs go to the media first, right? And it's a big mistake. They'll see other people doing it, do it on Facebook and they'll think, oh, I need to do some Facebook advertising. Why should you do Facebook advertising if you haven't understood your market, you don't know who your buyer persona is, you haven't understood the problems? They might not might not even be on Facebook, right? They might not even be on LinkedIn. So you need to understand, you know, where are they? And you need to do research based on that, right? Not just guess it. So don't you don't want to guess anything. So that's the message to market formula. So the fifth way to supercharge your business is where to find highly skilled virtual salespeople who will work on commission only. Now, this isn't going to suit everyone, but there's some people who are watching this training and your type of business would would suit someone taking your appointments. It would suit someone doing the selling for you. You might have a high ticket item. You might be um, someone that can close, uh, you know, a particular product or services or service that sells for $2,000, $3,000, $5,000 or more. And, you know, you might already have existing salespeople that you employ. And the problem is when you employ a local salesperson, and I've got a company I'm working with at the moment in the USA that's that's going through this, you know, they're paying over $120,000 a year plus commissions for a salesperson. And the problem is that salesperson's not performing. So the the salesperson's still getting their $120,000 salary a year, right? They're not getting the commission because they're not making the extra sales, but there's still a massive cost to the business. So where can you find virtual salespeople who you don't have to pay a salary for, right, which is super cool, and you pay commission only? Now, you will have to pay a higher commission, right, because they're not making a salary. But you know what? If they make a sale for you and you pay them 5 or 10% of the commission, you know, that's money well invested. So let's have a look. So the first area that you can find... Um, virtual salespeople is on LinkedIn. So if you go to LinkedIn and in the search bar up the top there, you can see right at the top left-hand corner of that LinkedIn, I've typed in in the words sales closer. And you can see the first person there. Now, I don't know Vincent. (laughs) There are probably going to be a lot of people reach out to Vincent after this. And Vincent, if you ever watch this video, you can thank me later. But I don't even know who Vincent is. I'm not connected with him. But he comes up first as a professional sales closer. He'll convert your leads into sales consistently, right? So now I don't even know if Vincent works on commission, but I'm just showing you how to find sales closers that you can reach out to. So you would send a message to Vincent and you say, hey, Vincent, I'm looking for a, a virtual salesperson who will work on commission only to close my product, which is X amount of dollars a month or one time of 5,000, whatever you're selling, right? And I'm wondering if you can help me. I'm wondering if we can have a conversation about your services. Now you can even go another level and go into Sales Navigator. So um, Sales Navigator is a particular um, type of service, I guess you could say, or add-on on LinkedIn that you've got to subscribe to. And under Sales Navigator, you can type in their current title. And so I've typed in High Ticket Sales Closer. And you can see someone else has typed up, uh, come up there, uh, High Ticket Sales Closer, Sales Enrollment Coach. So, you know, that's the way of finding high ticket closers. And then you can also search for uh, geographical areas. So over on the left-hand side there, you can see I've searched for Australia. And we can see the different types of closers there. And on the right hand side, you can see that there's a, you know, a high ticket sales closer, certified high ticket closer, 
high ticket sales closer at self-employed contractor, high ticket closer at Danlock University. There's many of these people out there. Um, thanks to people like Dan Locke, who are running um, sales closer universities, teaching people how to close. Um, there's many high ticket sales closers who will work on commission only. So reach out to these people, get them working in your business. It will be a game changer for you. You can actually also look at them on LinkedIn. So this is a, a ClickFunnels is an app. If you don't use it, they've got a Facebook group called ClickFunnels Official. Now, again, I don't know, William. Now, these are just screenshots, but you can see that this person said, I'm looking for a high ticket sales closer, commission based, 10 to 20%. We have scripts, case studies, and everything you need to sell. Uh, so pretty good ad. Uh, product package, 2,000 to 7,000. It's got some requirements there. And you can see he had 30 people leave a comment to that on December 7th. Um, and you can see that there's you know plenty of sales closers out there for you to choose from. So what you would do, you would you know look at these people's profiles and you would reach out to them and uh, make a connection and interview them, just like you would interview a normal person. So way number six to supercharge your business uh, this year and been absolute success. Um, that would be to save more time, right? So the question is, how do you save 20 hours or more per week by hiring offshore tech experts to save you time and make you money? Well, there's plenty of different sites that you can go to. Uh, Fiverr is a good one. My team and I have used Fiverr many times for our own projects. You can go to Fiverr and there'll be people that'll do all sorts of things from social media to videos to graphic design, um, to video editing, website design, website website building, copywriting, all sorts of services are on Fiverr. Um, now, they used to be Fiverr, it used to be $5, it's no longer $5. Um, they're a lot more expensive than $5. And you get what you pay for, right? But the point is this, you know, you could pay someone $150 for a video on Fiverr. Now, that's a pretty good deal, right? If you went to a local digital marketing agency and you said, I want a you know, a five, seven minute video to put on my website, they'll probably turn around and charge you maybe $5,000, maybe $10,000, right? But if you went to Fiverr, you could probably find that, you know, similar quality, maybe even better quality, and someone will charge you maybe $150, maybe $500, right? And then you've got onlinejobs.ph if you want to employ someone from the Philippines. And um, you can find all sorts of people there that will help you um, you know, you save time in your business. Again, web developers, social media managers, whatever you need, you can find on these sites. Upwork is another one. Freelancer is another one. And then you've got 99 designs for things like, you know, logos and brochures and website designs and all sorts of really cool stuff. So go ahead, check out some of those sites. You can find all sorts of tech experts, digital marketing experts. It's going to save you a ton of money. You'll never want to use a digital marketing agency ever again and uh, you know, and get, get someone to work on your business. You know, start off with one person and then scale from there. So, you know, maybe you need one sales closer and one offshore tech expert, you know, and then you know, put them on, put them on for a trial. What I usually do is when I find a tech expert, I put them on as a trial period, you know, and I tell them, look, we're gonna work together for a month or two. Let's see how we go, let's see how you perform, let's see if you'll get your work in on time, set some KPIs for them. And then, you know, you go from there. So no different to how you would engage a local person. So number seven, how to scale your small business and automate your marketing. So marketing automation is a, a very big and complex um, piece of machinery, uh, moving parts, if you like. So what we do, we help our clients automate their marketing through strategic consulting. I build out frameworks for them. This particular one is an inbound marketing framework. You can see it starts off with a, the red part there of topic clusters and inbound marketing methodology that I teach people. Going to a VSL, which is a video sales letter or video sales page. Now you can send that to a one-time upsell of $97, which goes to a second time bump of $197. Uh, deliver the product, and then you've got a nurture sequence. Going down to a seminar or a webinar or an application, a purchase, and onboarding. So again, these are quite complex, lots of moving parts, but ju I just wanted to show you this so you understand that there are ways to automate your business. And you can literally create a whole process so someone comes in from Google search and ends up in your calendar appointment system, ends up paying you money, and you know it takes about two minutes for them uh, it takes about two minutes for you to do, right? So it doesn't take two minutes to set up. Like you, these things take a lot to set up. But once it's set up, 
they travel through the system themselves and the only thing that you have to do is you know apply their purchase application if it's a quote or a proposal so very effective to streamline your business uh, this is another one using paid advertising or social media. So it could be a download or a sales letter, going to a, fr a free report, some sort of pre-framing sequence, going to an application process, um, down to a calendar process, into a meeting. Again, the meeting might take 15 minutes of your time. They make a purchase, you put a proposal together, and away you go. Okay, So there are many different ways to build these frameworks out for you to be successful. Okay, So let's dive into a quick case study. Um, from building your legacy, this is a business case study. This particular client's tagline was from building your legacy through property. I flipped them into Australia's number one small property project experts. So the Jamelli Group wanted more coaching clients and more property investors. They had a bells and whistles brochure website designed by a website agency. It was getting zero leads and zero conversions. So the strategy was, a, it was a five stage strategy. We started with one high ticket client. We created a system that created 80 high ticket coaching clients within four months that were part of the end coaching model. The coaching model then became the feeder into the back end property development investments. And stage three was I helped them develop an online training coaching portal to automate the training of their coaching client clients. Stage four, I helped them move from one-to-one -one selling at cafes into one-to-many selling in half-day in-person workshops. And stage five, we then flipped it from half-day in-person workshops, which was selling in person, to selling online via webinars and online Q&As. So year one, their total marketing leads uh, for the first 12 months into the system was over 1,000, or was 1,013. In year two, the total marketing leads for the second 12 months into the system was 1,727. So roughly, we're getting 130 to 140 leads per month. Year one, we had 93 people go through workshops, 70 people go through workshops in year two. Um, the second year was dropped because we went from selling in person to selling online via webinars and online Q&As. We would create lead generators where people could download a free resource, give them value up front, and they would end up into our system for remarketing. One paid ad like this had 413 comments, uh, sorry, 413 likes, 621 comments, and 154 shares on one particular Facebook ad. In the first 30 days, my system created 184 new potential coaching clients that requested appointments uh, worth over 100, uh, worth 740k in additional revenue. They had to hire an additional salesperson to keep up with the leads. A uh, couple of text messages. Hi, mate, can we shut off the leads on Sunday night, 9 p.m. for a week or two? Got too many, nice problem to have. And then over on the right-hand side, bravo, on the leads, amazing, 230 um, in, and then again, 90 leads in two minutes, getting smashed on late, on leads with Facebook every day, right? So um, great response from the client there. Uh, testimony from Trent in just four emails when we first started. I originally wrote a four email campaign for him. In four emails, your campaign created $740,000 worth of upfront new business. Just want to say a big thank you for all you've done for us. I cannot recommend your services highly enough as your professionalism is simply amazing. That's from Trent Jamelli at the Jamelli Group. Now, you'll be thrilled You'll be thrilled to know that there's a right way and a wrong way to do all of this to supercharge your business. And the wrong way is this. The wrong way is not knowing who your target market is and what transformation they want. The wrong way is not picking one thing to improve at a time. Man, I see this all the time, right? Busy owner, operator, business owners, just doing a hundred different things, trying to get better at sales, trying to get better at marketing. And within marketing, there's all types of different marketing, right? So there's Facebook ads, Google ads, marketing automation, SMS marketing, Facebook messenger marketing, uh, LinkedIn marketing, LinkedIn direct outreach marketing, LinkedIn ads, right? Content marketing on LinkedIn, LinkedIn articles, LinkedIn videos, Facebook videos, and on it goes, right? Now, the problem with all of that is that it creates overwhelm. So what I do is I help people just do one thing at a time really well. Let's nail that. Let's get some results on that and let's move on to the next thing. The other wrong way is not having a proven framework to follow. I'm a big believer in frameworks and systems. The other wrong way is not having a coach or mentor who can help you achieve your financial and lifestyle goals sooner. And the right way, the good news for you, is the right way is to learn from someone that's already creating predictable, profitable, and proven results for themselves and their clients. 
Now, when you've got that, it will save you hundreds of thousands of dollars on trial and error. You'll never be paying a ransom to advertising agencies, marketing companies, or freelancers ever again. And you can stop wasting your time on it going to expensive courses um, and seminars designed as pitch fest events, right? That literally just pump you up with hot air, only to leave you feeling deflated and even more confused months later. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a 30-day plan. Now, the reason I want to give you a 30-day plan is so you can achieve your goals faster than you previously thought possible. And now, the reason I want to do this is because that will save you from trying to figure out all of this on your own. And I actually want to help you find the untapped potential in your business. Now, this untapped potential could be maybe it's the amount or the quality of leads at the moment. Maybe it's the way you're booking leads into appointments. Maybe the untapped potential is the closing of leads into high paying clients. Maybe the untapped potential is the retaining of existing clients. Maybe the untapped potential is selling more to existing clients. Maybe it's reactivating old clients or old leads. Or maybe it's the business workflow and improving efficiency, like how does a client or a customer travel through your business? Uh, What are the different stages of your sales pipeline? Do you even have a sales pipeline? Do you know what a sales pipeline is, right? So all of these things help improve your business efficiency and your sales efficiency. And then developing your dream team. So, you know, how do you hire offshore? How do you engage a salesperson? How do you get a commission-based seller? What sort of things should you say to them, right? So all of those things I help my clients uh, create so they can create their dream team and their dream business so they work less and earn more. So if you want to scale your business and achieve your financial and lifestyle goals, like many of my clients and students, I want you to book a free 20-minute discovery consultation with me. We'll chat about what's been working, what's not been working in your business. Very, very quick 20-minute, no pressure, no sales uh, pitch call. Um, What we're going to do is we'll just talk about your business. I'll ask you what's been working, what's not, what's been holding you back. Um, We'll discuss your financial and lifestyle goals that you want to achieve over the next six months, and then I'll give you a 30-day plan to move forwards with. Now, who is this 20-minute discovery consultation right for? It's for owner-operated businesses. It's for service-based business owners, for real estate coaches and property experts. It's for gyms, health clubs, and swim school owners. It's for dentists, um, and not, not just a dentist, but you've got like a dentist practice. So you own your own dentist practice, you own your own physiotherapist practice, you own your own chiropractic practice. It's for law firms, financial planning firms, accounting firms, and it's for any business owner turning over 500000 to $5 million who is committed, that's the key word there, who is committed to reaching their financial and lifestyle goals within the next 12 months. Now, look, I should say this, Unfortunately, this is not suitable suitable for multi-level marketers, network marketers, or affiliate marketers. I, they're just not my ideal clients. It's not that I don't believe in their products. Um, I don't sell products like that, but some people do. They make a lot of money doing it. Uh, but me personally, the strategies that I teach are for owner-operated uh, businesses. So MLM, network marketers, affiliate marketers, just doesn't work for You need to have your own business selling your own products and services. So frequently asked questions, why is there a discovery consultation cam and why isn't there a link where I can go to a web page and join your program or join your services? Well, the thing is this, I really need to ask you a few questions to completely understand your business. I need to be 100% certain that I can help you achieve your financial and lifestyle goals Otherwise, honestly, I just won't take you on as a client. You know, life's too short to work with people that you can't help. So, you know, I when I work with people, I work with people who I'm 100% certain that I can help them achieve their lifestyle and financial goals. So I love working alike, alongside like-minded, success-driven, action-taking people. So if that sounds like you, you know, go ahead and book your discovery consultation. Another frequently asked question is, I'm looking for a quick fix or magic pill. You know, can you help me? I'm in trouble type of thing. You know, I'm six feet underwater and I've got my hand up and I need rescuing. Look, the truth of the matter is if you need rescuing, if you're that far down and, and, uh, you know, I'm I'm, I'm probably not your guy, right? I am a straight shooter. I'm a down the line type of guy, no BS kind of guy. Um, But if you think I'm some kind of magic bullet or quick fix to your financial problems, Um, you're sadly mistaken. And also, if you don't have 
two sticks to rub together if you don't have any coin for you know any budget for marketing you don't have any coin for investing into you know coaching and consulting and, and strategies then sadly I just can't help you so my ideal clients turn over between 500,000 and 5 million they are owner operated businesses and they are very committed about getting to the next level in their business and achieving their lifestyle goals within the next six months. So what happens during the free 20 minute discovery consultation? My intention is to help you move the needle on your business by helping you get focused and committed on improving just one area at a time. Not to give you a hundred different things to do, not to give you a thousand different you know, implementation ideas, but let's just move one area. Let's get the needle working on your business in one area and then during the consultation, I'll you know, do a diagnosis on your business, and then I'll give you a 30-day plan to move forward with. Well, that's a wrap from me. I trust that I've given you an idea of the types of clients I work with, and you've got a sense of what could be possible in your business and life if we work together. Look, this isn't a job for me. It's my passion. I love helping motivated people scale their business and be successful in life. I look forward to speaking to you soon on one of our calls. So simply go to camroberts.com.au forward slash chat and now we're doing Q&A so I want you to take the next step uh, if you're ready for the chat go to camroberts.com.au forward slash chat if you have some Q&A let's pop it in the chat window now and let's find out what questions you have about business success and marketing that I might be able to help you with